everyone. It is a beautiful day here in Orlando, Florida. I know your eyes are not playing tricks on you. It is actually nighttime right now. Um, I am filming the intro of the video afterwards because I forgot to film an intro before we left the house today. So today we are at Disney Springs. Um, we ended up going to Sprinkles for the first time ever. Had to get our first Joffrey's coffee of the year. Uh, we ended up at Homecoming, which is Chef Art Smith's restaurant. And we went around Disney Springs to check out some of the new 100th anniversary merchandise. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I have some footage from Ever After Jewelry Co, but I finally did it. I finally got the Infinity Stone ring that I have been looking for in my size for over a year now, I think. Um, obviously we're Orlando locals, so it's been 
It should have been really easy to find, but it was actually very hard to find, but we found it today and I'm so excited. It's gorgeous. I got pins today and I also did some pin trading. So I'm gonna open up these two mystery boxes. But first I'm going to show you the pins that I found on the pin boards today because there were actually some really good ones on there. Um, a lot of times recently there's like only fake pins on the board. Um, but I think I found some real ones today and ones that I hadn't seen before. So I'm really excited. First I found this teeny tiny little piglet. Um, wow, he's so small the camera does not even, oh wow, okay. Apparently if my face is in it, it will focus on him. Um, but yeah, look how cute this is. I mean, like he's literally the size of like part of one of my fingers, like, I can't. He's so cute and I do collect Winnie the Pooh pins so I'm really excited to put him next to the rest of the piglets that I have. Um, my piglet collection is growing faster than the rest of my Winnie the Pooh collection which is kind of surprising because Eeyore is my favorite um, and I don't have a lot of Eeyore pins if any. I know that I have one of the uh, Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh attraction pin so, uh, so Eeyore is technically on that one but I don't have a standalone Eeyore pin yet, which is weird, but um, I guess that's gonna be something that I'm on the hunt for in 2023. Speaking of 2023, another one that I found on the pin board, and so today is literally the second day of January, the second day of 2023, and I found this 2023 Mickey Mouse kind of Walt Disney World because it does have the castle on it, um, so I guess technically it's just Disney Parks. But this 2023 pin, obviously it's showing backwards. Um, but I was so excited to see this and I had to grab it so fast. Um, yeah, so this was on the board at Pin Traders. This next one I had also never seen um, up until I was looking at some of the other mystery boxes. There was a Big Hero 6 mystery box, but there were 12 different options and um, Obviously getting like a classic Baymax one would have been cute, but that's literally one out of 12. Uh, the other one that I was excited to potentially get was Honey Lemon. Um, and I just decided it wasn't worth like literally taking my chances and seeing if I could end up with one out of 12 that I wanted. And then I walked over to the pin board and saw this. There she is. It's a Honey Lemon pin and I'm pretty sure it's real. It does look like the enamel almost has that wet effect, but I feel like these are so new that like, what are the chances that this one's actually a fake? Um, also the waffling on the back looks proper and the um, spikes on the back look proper as well. So I do think this is a legit honey lemon pin. So I'm very excited about that. The last one that I got off of the pin boards while I was at Disney Springs pin trading today is another one that I've never seen before and is actually a real pin um, based on, again, the waffling and the spikes and the way that the enamel looks, is this adorable Coco pin. Look how cute Miguel looks here. He's got his guitar and there's a giant Luxo ball in the back. I had never seen this before, so I genuinely don't know if this was a part of like Pixar Fest or if there's like some giant mystery bag out there somewhere where they all have Luxo balls behind them. Um, but yeah, I just had to grab it. So now I'm going to open up these two mystery boxes. Um, this one is the Custom Cake Creations and it's almost entirely princesses. So hopefully it holds the focus, but this one is almost entirely princesses. Um, there is a Belle option, a Jasmine option, Tiana Snow White potentially. Tiana Snow White, Ariel, Hercules, which is super cool. Um, Rapunzel, Belle, Jasmine, and Cinderella. So let's get into opening these. Um, the second one that I have is just the 2023 mystery pin collection. Of course, this one focused immediately, gotta love it. Um, and these are all like different pennants that say, pennants, pendants, pendants. These are different like um, collegiate style, like retro collegiate style pendants that I wish this would focus better. There we go. That say 2023 or have different characters or different characters names on them. Um, I really like all of these designs except maybe, I wouldn't be super excited about Stitch um, or Daisy to be honest with you. 
I like the Donald and Goofy ones, but they don't say 2023 on them. So I'm really hoping for a 2023 pin. I did purchase this before I found the 2023 pin on the pin board. So at least I will have a 2023 pin, um, but I'm gonna open this one first. Oh, and I just realized there's actually two pins in this box. I thought there was only one, so that's a nice bonus. Wow, I ripped this box on accident. They must be, no, they're pretty decent sized pins. All right, so first bag. And this is a goofy pin and it is actually very retro looking. It's very cute. Um, let's see how quickly this will focus, if at all. You can hear my mom's phone ringing with my sister's custom ringtone. Just a casual under the sea moment. So as you can see, it's like got like a very retro looking Goofy and it says Goofy on it. And it also says, I'm not gonna do it justice, but it says a hyuk <laughs> on there. Um, and the orange is so vibrant. So I'm pretty excited about that. By the way, anyone who's thinking of getting a Canon Mark II G7X for vlogging, because literally everyone says that this is the camera, two things while I sit here being completely fuzzy. Uh, for a very long time. Two major things to think of. Oh my gosh, wow, I did really, I really did not mean for this segment to be this fuzzy. Two things to consider if you're thinking about getting the Canon Mark II G7X camera because everyone recommends it for vlogging. One, the battery life. I have purchased on Amazon like multiple battery backups um, because this battery just does not, or this camera does not hold a charge in its batteries at all. Like you literally have to bring, if you're planning on vlogging with it, you have to bring extra charged batteries with you, which is just wild. Um, especially when you only do like short vlogs. Um, the second thing is the focusing. It takes so long to focus. It does have like an option where you can touch the screen and it tries to like pick an item um, to focus on, but it still takes forever. Like I've literally had to completely stop recording to get the camera to start thinking again, to be like, oh, okay, let me like try and refocus. So just something to think about. Anyways, here's the second pendant pin and it's Pluto. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. There he is. Look how cute he is. <gasps> wow. Love it. So one of them is sideways and one of them is uh, vertical. So that's gonna be pretty cool looking on the board. I definitely think I'm gonna try and collect some more of these before um, the New Year's merch goes out. I almost said out of style, like stops being restocked, <laughs> I guess is the word I'm looking for. Okay, next we have this princess cake one. I already have Ariel and Tiana. Um, I got them as a gift, like I got a box as a gift from one of my best friends for Christmas. So I'm hoping to get, um, let's see, really any of the other ones. I don't collect Snow White like at all, but I do have one Evil Queen pin that was gifted to me. So I would have somewhere to put the Snow White one. Um, but other than that, I do collect the rest of these princesses. I honestly love all of these designs. So I'm just hoping to not get a repeat at this point. Okay, first bag. And these ones do have like cardboard around them as well. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, this is the tangled one and it's gorgeous. You can see the sun drop flower on top, the little Corona suns, um, some of the striping that she has on her dress is down at the bottom and the braids with the flowers on it. I could definitely see this being a cake in real life. This is so gorgeous. Okay. Second and final cake pin box. Well, final for this video. I do think I'm gonna continue to try and collect this one as well, this series as well. Um, in 2022, they released, and like I said, I need to do a pin collection update video because I updated my pin collection a lot in 2022. Um, but they did these gorgeous princess teapot and teacup series um, at the parks, but I, and now I'm gonna have little cakes to go next to all of the princess teapots, so I'm so excited. All right, last one. Again, really hoping it's not a repeat. Okay, so my camera died like in the middle of that clip, which is really ironic because I was trash talking the camera's battery life. 
Um, but I got the Little Mermaid again. Okay, so this is the Little Mermaid one. Um, as I said, I already have this one. So, hold on. As I mentioned, I already have this one. So now I have two Little Mermaid ones and I do not collect the Little Mermaid. So I think I'm going to post on the Pin Traders Facebook group and see if anyone has any of the other cakes that I'm looking for before I buy a new box. Um, because now I have two Little Mermaids to trade. So that's the sort of pin um, unboxing for my Disney Springs adventure this evening. And if you guys want a pin collection update video, uh, which I don't know that I've ever actually posted a full on pin collection video on my channel before. Um, but if you guys want to see my full pin collection, it's a large board that I'm going to need to upgrade to a larger board soon. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, and as always, have a magical day. Mm -hmm.